Remember how we talked about namespaces the last time in this series? Well, a namespace is what we use import or using for. So let's say we have a bunch of code and in that code, we want to initialize some kind of player. We want to play an MP3. Well, we don't want to write all the code ourselves and we also don't want to copy the code from somewhere and then paste it in here. That would be very, very bad design and you'd have enormous programs. So the way around that is to use an import or a using statement. So in a program, I would import some kind of namespace or class or whatever called player. And sometimes this is called using in C sharp, for example, but there are lots of different words. But the common thing you'll notice between all of these is that these import or using statements are always pretty much always at the top of your blocks of code. Then your blocks of code will go into classes, functions and methods. So it is this section up here that we're interested in and that's where your imports or using happen. Now, obviously you don't want to write player code, but you'd also not want to write anything that downloads stuff from the web, plays MP3s or I don't know, updates your screen, whatever it is, you can import all of that functionality using import and using. So it saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of code. And a bonus is if somebody changes this web code in their bit of program, the next time you import it, it doesn't make a difference to you. You don't have to change any of this in most cases. You simply use the new version that was created because it is automatically imported or used for you.